Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be trying all of the Cheetos mac and cheese flavors because I, I'm i sure you guys have seen these. They've been out for a while now and there's just a lot of these and I have had the flaming hot one before because I'm a flaming hot guy. That's just I always get anything new that's flaming hot. So but I haven't had any of the other ones yet. And I was just walking through the store the other day when I noticed that they added two flavors that aren't even Cheetos flavors. They're just for the mac and cheese. And I was like, I got to do a video on this. So join me today as we rank all of the Cheetos mac and cheese. First, I'm going to be starting with all the original flavors. So the four cheesy and the cheesy bacon will be last. We're going to start with the three that are actual Cheetos flavors. I gotta go make them. All right, and we're back. Well, back to me. To you, it was just a cut, but you get the point. So I have the three Cheeto flavors here with the Cheetos, Flaming Hot, and the Jalapeno Cheddar. Although I wanna switch these, but even though the mic's kinda in the way, and do them in order of spiciness. And the reason I did quotation marks is because I am a spicy connoisseur, so I don't really think the flaming hot's gonna be that spicy to me. It probably will be spicy to a lot of people. That's just how it is. So, let's start with the first one. Now, it is a very bright orange. It it very much just smells like Kraft mac and cheese. To be honest, it doesn't really smell like Cheetos. Like when you open a bag of Cheetos and you smell it, I should have got. A normal, I should have got all the Cheetos to compare. That would have been smart, right? But it really just smells like Kraft mac and cheese. Let's find out. Okay. Not bad. It's tangy. It does not taste like Kraft mac and cheese, even though that's exactly what it smells like. Like to a T almost. <laughs> it's got a tang to it. Like almost like a chemical tang, but. I just didn't taste very much cheese. It just tasted like flavor. I can't really even nail the flavor. It just kind of tasted like, I don't know. I gotta go back for a second. I don't know, man. It's really weird. It really just doesn't taste like, I don't know. It doesn't taste like much. I guess it kind of faintly tastes like Cheetos, but it more honestly faintly tastes like nacho cheese Doritos, in my opinion. It has like that kind of taste to it, you know? I don't know, very weird. Um, I would give it a 3 out of 10. So far, it's the worst one I've had. And best one. So, let's move forward. Now we have the Cheesy Jalapeno. Now these are a flavor of uh, Cheetos I'm not too fond of. I'm just not, a lot of people love the Cheesy Jalapeno flavor combination. And I just, I like like jalapeno poppers. And I like real jalapenos with cheese, like nachos obviously. But... Like those jalapeno cheese crackers or like uh, the Cheetos. I'm not usually a fan of, but let's try into mac and cheese. Okay, well this one has much more flavor right off the bat. Definitely tastes like peppers. It's actually not bad. I feel like when you get cheesy jalapeno stuff normally, it has like that weird pepper flake, almost like black pepper, you know what I'm saying? But this actually tastes like jalapenos. This is much better than the regular one so far. It has like a recognizable flavor to it. That's good. That would definitely be good with stuff mixed into it. Like if you use this as like a hamburger helper thing, like maybe mix in some ground beef into it or used it with something or had it on the side of it with a burger, that would be good. i give this one a, I'll give it a five out of 10. Oh yeah, this is the one we're all waiting for. Flaming Hot Cheetos Mac and Cheese. Officially through Cheetos. Not any fan creation on the internet that you see. This is really licensed by Cheeto. And it is red, baby. It is red. Let's try it. Honestly, it doesn't smell any different from the first two. It just kind of smells like cheese. Ooh, not bad. It's got a kick to it for sure. That's actually really not bad, guys. I really like that. I know I'm a sucker for Flaming Hot, so I mean, take that with a grain of salt. I really like that. Like, it's just super good. It's it's super good, it's super flavorful. 
And you know what I'm thinking right now? If I just harvested Flaming Hot boxes of Cheeto Mac and Cheese, and I just took the flavor packet out of them, would I just, like, would I just be sitting on a bunch of Flaming Hot seasoning, which is something they've never sold individually, and maybe never will? Well, they probably will one day. When they will one day, I guarantee it. But right now, I could just be sitting on bottles of Flaming Hot Cheetos. And now all you could too, because I just gave you the idea. Damn. Anyway, this is very good. I'm definitely giving this a 9 out of 10. Because I'm a Flaming Hot slut. I'm just going to say it. It's so good. I'm going to have another bite. I'm probably going to eat this whole thing in between rounds. And then regret it when I make the other two flavors. So far, perfectly, I don't have to move anything. The Cheetos one is the worst one so far. The Jalapeno Cheddar one is the second best so far. And the Flaming Hot Cheeto one is the best one so far. So now I got to go make the other two. Uh, the Cheesy Bacon and the Four Cheesy. And we'll be right back. Alright, now it is time to try the other two flavors. We have the Four Cheese Cheeto Mac and Cheese and the Cheesy Bacon. So let's get into it. Uh, Flaming Hot still ranks as number one to me. So let's see if one of these can beat it. Let's start with the four cheese. Now I will say, even right now, and when I was microwaving this, this one smells like how you want the Cheeto one to smell. Like everything about it, like from the dust powder to like mixing it in with the noodles, it smells like Cheeto puffs. Like it really, it smells just like Cheeto puffs. So I'm very excited to try this one. I'm hoping this one has a better, just more Cheeto-y flavor. Oh yeah, this is good. Like this is actually good. Like this is compared to Kraft, dude. Cheetos, I don't know what you're doing with the regular mac and cheese. Like what's happening? This could really compare to Kraft and Velveeta. Like this is good. It's right in that same lane, but like better because it tastes like Cheeto cheese instead of just, like it's, it's very good. I might give this a 10 out of 10. This might be today's winner. It might be flaming hot. This is very, very good, and I am going to finish this one when all is said and done. <laughs> you can't leave out the cheesy bacon. Now, this one smells exactly how you think it would smell. If you've ever gotten bacon-flavored chips, that's exactly what it smells like. It's like bacon-flavored potato chips. Let's try it, though. It tastes um, how you'd expect it would. It really just has that fake baby... <laughs> fake bacon flavor yeah i don't know i give that a four out of ten it's if you're like a kid or a teenager then that might hit that might hit the spot because when i was in middle school and high school i used to love that kind of stuff but like that like that fake bacon flavor just doesn't hit anymore it just doesn't taste that good to me but i know it tastes good to somebody which is why i'm still giving it a four out of ten which makes the four cheese cheetos mac and cheese the best Cheetos mac and cheese. You should go get it. It can really compare to Kraft. And that makes the Flaming Hot number two. If you like spicy, it's a great alternative. It's a good mac and cheese on its own. It doesn't really taste like this one. Uh, and yeah, I'm just they're both very good. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you've been enjoying the lookbacks that have been coming out. And I got more and more and more stuff planned. Uh, so thank you so much. Peace.